Oh, guys. Mm. Morning, guys. Um, see, I told you guys what I love, but it was actually a burn mark. I burned myself with a curling wand. Oh my god, the ghetto. But, um, good morning, guys. Welcome back to a vlog. And today, woo, this is actually my first time doing a vlog like this where I'm just open and honest about the things that obviously happen in my private life. And one of the th reasons why I would not share this part of my life with people is because. People can be very malicious and people can always say mean things about you and negative things about you when in actual fact, you know, I really don't know how to put it. So, <laughs> um, and also, you know, a lot of my audience on YouTube are young people and are people who obviously don't have the financial capabilities. So I think I just came from a family that forced me to be humble so much and Sometimes being humble can be confused with being, I don't know, fearful of like what people are going to say, which is what I was for a while. So I've just decided to learn my truth and be honest with my, my audience about the things that I plan to do, you know. Let me go, let me go make a cup of coffee because I had a long, 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 long night of like just doing work. Just to let you guys know my plans for the day. I am going to go collect my Nespresso this morning. So my sister's been trying to convince me to get an Nespresso for a while because she has one, right? And I was just like, man, I don't see myself paying that much money for an Nespresso. And she was like, dude, you love coffee. You would literally love the Nespresso. And I was like, aye, 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 aye. And then eventually, just as I was about to fall into the trap of buying an Nespresso, Nespresso approaches me and basically asks me, if I can come collect a free Nespresso. But yeah, no, I had every intention to buy it this month. It just, it was just by sheer luck that Nespresso approached me and said to me, hey man, we want you to have the Nespresso, so that's nice. And then the second thing I'm gonna do today is, uh, I'm gonna go test my dream car, <laughs> which is the Porsche McCann. Well, <laughs> It's kind of been something that I've been trying to do for a while now. So, um, I love my car, don't get me wrong, but it's not what I thought it was, you know what I mean? So, now that I've been working really, really hard and kind of figuring myself out and seeing what I want to do, one of the things that I want is a Porsche McCann. So, I've been telling my dad about this car for like... And actually, let me be honest, my dad asked me, do you like the Porsche McCann? And I was like, no, <laughs> I like the E-Pays. And he was like, bitch, I'm gonna ask you again. <laughs> now that I've kind of started working and I've been working like crazy, guys, like I've been booked and busy, like actually doing so much work for campaigns and for brands. And I don't know if any of you followed me on social media, but one of the things that I told myself I'd achieve this year is to literally hit my mark of like making 100K, which I did. And I hit it sooner than I anticipated because I thought I would hit it by my birthday. But I literally hit it a month before. So my dad kind of just saw how really tired and frustrated I've been with work and stuff like that. Like I've even cried to my dad just saying that, you know what? It's a lot of work to be an influencer, especially, you know, with me, everything happens so quickly, you know, I, I understand if it was a situation where I was used to this, but I, I'm not. It literally happened in eight, nine months and I had to just get it together. So my dad basically surprised me with test driving the McCann, right? So that's what I'm gonna go do today. I'm gonna go test drive the McCann and just to check it out get a feel of it see if i like it um but yeah so that's what we're gonna go do today uh we're gonna go connect to my coffee machine we're gonna go test drive my car and we're also gonna start prepping for something i i can't exactly tell you guys what it is but what i can tell you is that your girl's gonna be on TV very soon, but like frequently. That's also kind of been weighing heavy on my mind. I've been really stressed about that because 
yeah, no, uh, being on TV is going to be super wild. It's something that I obviously am not exactly used to. And um, in not being used to that, I've obviously got stress and fears about will this go well? Am I going to do well and everything like that? But, but, but I've literally worked tirelessly for this moment. So, so yeah, guys, what I'm going to do now is do my makeup and then go to Science and City and fetch my coffee machine you know and then go meet up with my dad and go test drive this car but yeah no i've just been praying over it like i just want to see if it's meant for me you know what i mean like guys i've driven cars for a while now and the Jag is one car that i feel like i liked it i liked how it looked but i don't necessarily like the car as a whole so I just told my dad the truth, like, hey, bro, <laughs> me, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm really hoping the, this car blows me away. I'm really hoping it blows me away. And I think it was so sweet of my dad to surprise me with this test drive because I've been talking about it, but I haven't really said much because also it's just something I'm working towards and it's something that I want to do myself. And for the first time in a really long time, I have the capabilities to do so myself so yeah that's pretty much where I, I am like mentally right now i'm just trying to better myself i'm just trying to you know focus on me and just do things that make me happy so yeah i'm gonna do my makeup and then we're gonna hit satin finished doing my makeup and I decided to do like a really natural beat which I absolutely love because I never do natural beats so this is kind of nice to kind of have something really natural on my face I just want to show you guys what it looks like so this is currently what my makeup looks like right now I feel like the lighting is not doing it any justice yeah it's making me look a little bit lighter but anyway that's what it looks like now and um, I'm just gonna get dressed but while I get dressed, I want to show you guys this two-piece that I got from Impreka online. So I tried it on and it looks so good. I want to try it on for you guys quickly so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm probably going to get dressed and then I'm going to head to Santon City. So I just want to show you guys what this looks like. So this is what this outfit looks like from Impreka. Um, maybe let me bring you guys a little bit closer. Because I know my food is food bring. But this is what it looks like. It's so cute and it's one of the first outfits in a while that I feel comfortable, you know what I mean? Like it holds here and here. My foot is not that visible, like it just, it looks good on me and honestly, I would wear it. I probably am going to wear it to an event. And guys, I just want to talk about my legs. My legs are starting to look a lot better in terms of how they look because if you check my previous holes like if you check my previous um unboxings and if you check my previous holes you'll notice that my legs looked a whole lot more patchier so my thighs they were like obviously one thing i was really self-conscious about and they looked very very like uh dumply dumply yeah i think dumply is the right word so i tried this on the other day and i noticed how my legs look a little bit more toned okay I think I put you guys too high up but yeah my legs look a little bit more toned um, my body looks a little bit better and I'm really excited about that because you guys know the struggles I've had with my weight and you know I obviously played it cool on YouTube but it was actually bothering me for a really really long time so to kind of see the progress that I've made with my body changes has been the best feeling I've ever had in such a long time and I probably need to go back to gym and just kind of stay 
focused and dedicated because I feel like gym also played a part in that. But yes, I do feel like my body is starting to look somewhat like what I would want it to look like. And that's really cool. So yeah. Now I'm probably going to try this whole gloss concept and see if it works on me, which I absolutely doubt. Because I have the weirdest lips, honestly. It's giving me ghetto. It's giving me great tin. It's giving me so many things that it should not be giving me. So I'm probably gonna undo that. I don't like glossy lips. Like I just, I don't get the concept really. <laughs> That's what this outfit looks like. Thank you so much to Impreco for sending me this. I feel so sexy. I feel ready. Like honestly, look at that. And it's so cute. I actually wanted to wear it on Sunday and then someone told me that I shouldn't wear it. I was like, what the fuck? So I'll probably wear it to Gonga or something. <laughs> I'll probably wear it to Gonga or something. Because <laughs> I'm probably not going to wear this during the day. I'm probably going to wear this in the evening time. So I'm going to keep going back to the gym and I'll probably wear it one day when I go to Gonga. And my body has reached what I wanted to reach. So yeah. Anyway, let me get dressed so that we can head and go get my espresso. Hi everybody, welcome back. Oh, the light looks beautiful. I should presume. Yeah. What is the store? Okay, let me go here. Right. Where's the store? Oh my God. Eat oh, what did I think I do with a sentient? Everything is here for food, Zana. Lena food. I No. Security guard. Okay, my smooth. You're holding it like such a. That's how Jaila looks. No, Jaila means. At what time? Sunrise. Sunrise. What time? I feel like Senzo. Senzo's still trying to figure out how to vlog, and good for him, I guess. But um, bring your best friend to work. Today. Oh my God, that's dead ass what's going on. I'm bringing my best friend to work. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the Nespresso store now. We're in the we're in the mall. If there's one thing I am not afraid to do, it's to vlog in the mall. Ah, <laughs> son. Angsab for call me. Angsab moon to me. Oh my god, Daniel Wellington has a store. Hey, but on here's a moon to clean the Sentinel Dallas. When last did I come to Sentinel City? I think it's been almost a year. Sheesh. It had to be. But anyway, we're ahead of there now to get my new Nespresso coffee machine. I don't know when I'm gonna make it, but Senzo will do it for me. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, 
got an espresso machine. Yeah, an espresso. And I'm taking your 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 kettle. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can. Have. Yeah. I can't okay, guys, I'm finally home, so let's take out my Nespresso baby. Oh, right there. Nespresso baby. Yeah. And this shoot you in the stomach. Oh my god. <laughs> oh guys, my car's dirty. I need to get it washed. And also my Discovery Bank card is here. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure none of, none of my neighbors eh? none of my neighbors got this. None of my neighbors got an espresso. Tanya, say hello. Let's say hi. Hi. I'm home, guys. I'm with Discovery Bank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guys, my new card is here. I'm whiling. Because, I mean, firstly, I've wanted to move to Discovery Bank. Like, I moved to Discovery Bank for a minute, but it was just, like, an investment account. Now, I've literally... Oh! In the, 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 in the oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to show my dad. And, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be... Oh, I'm looking forward to this, honestly. So, let me just take off my shoes because they're really sore. And then we're going to prep to go leave. Because I have to go meet my dad and then we're going to go test drive my dream car. Yes. I just wanna say, uh, I'm so hungover. I was drinking yesterday. I drank two bottles of wine, two, two. And now I woke up in my hangover shirts and there's champagne over there, uh, not over there. But the point is, whenever you reach a point where you are really drunk or you are hungover, you must drink again. Thanks for now, we appreciate this. Uh, guys, uh, I just need to let you guys know that, uh, at some point or the other, yeah, first of all, wait, 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 guys, this is not a love bite. Can you see how bad this has become? I literally, like, I picked it, but the point is, I'm hungover, and, uh, okay, fine. <sighs> okay. I have something to share with you guys. Um, it is the long weekend. I skipped my vlog by I don't know how many days. And now I'm sitting here. No plans. No man. No nothing. Nothing. Okay. Update. I'm single again. Don't ask me why I'm single again. Just know that I'm single again. And what matters is nothing. I'm single. So. To finish off yesterday's vlog, or like the vlog that happened two days ago, was that we went to the Porsche event, and we were viewing the Porsche McCann, but the problem is they wouldn't let us essentially take pictures or anything because the people who were there were Porsche clients, I guess I could say. So they had a viewing, a private viewing, two days before Porsche was launching the new McCann and the new Carrera, right? So I asked them, hey guys, can I please... um vlog they were like oh sorry you can't but i probably will have uploaded some snippets of videos that i probably shouldn't but i'll do it anyway because i'm full of shit okay cool now i'm single again it make me sick i just want to say guys if you ever think about loving a man or falling in love with a man just don't just don't 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 fucking do it okay but anyway I got food so I was really really hung over and then I had no plans for the long weekend so the first thing I decided to do was to get food yes I, I want to show you guys this because everyone was like oh look at that hickey now so I just want to show you guys what I got I went to go get some Nigerian food because 
again super hungover super tired drank that wine and now i feel like a sack of shit but i want to show you guys what i got i don't know if you guys have ever heard of a place called mama put mama put i think the the place is genuinely called mama put it's here so they're based in Sunning hill and essentially they sell nigerian food so i want to show you guys what i got so that we can have a rant about why men deserve nothing so i got some igusi as per usual and then i also got some jollof rice with plantain and some catfish let's go sit and have a chat i'm gonna get a fork get another bonang and we're gonna sit and have chats i got some igusi you guys know i like igusi so and then i got some jollof rice with some plantain and catfish All right let me just mm. so a friend of mine introduced oh! it's hot i'm generally someone who doesn't eat hot food and then let me try the plantain shit this is delicious oh my god How have I slept on plantain for this long? I mean, I knew that plantain was good because everybody talks about plantain. But then, like, how have I slept on plantain for this long? This is a goosey and plantain. So, so guys, yes, I'm single again. Um, yes, it it sucks. I hate. It. I hate talking about it. I was so happy in my relationship. But I think I made this tweet during the week and someone asked me about it. And I really want to talk about this on my channel because I feel like, guys, as human beings, the older we become, the more we realize how important it is to be sensitive to people's traumas, right? That John of us got heat. Anyway, um,. I broke up with someone that I really loved and I think obviously our breakup wasn't wasn't warranted it didn't warrant a breakup but it was like I felt like someone was playing on my traumas and I made this tweet about silent treatments that I felt like it's a form of emotional abuse right I still stand by that like you can't emotionally abuse someone yes you can you can be mad with someone and want space and say hey I don't really want to talk to you right now I want some space that's warranted but you can't turn around and ignore someone and then when they ask you what's wrong you're like yeah but you know what you did never in my life have i gotten to a point where i i told someone i was very direct in saying that my emotions or my traumas are not for you to play with they're not for you to play with like everybody knows even though i tell stories about drake and everything that we've been through the things that I went through with Drake really triggered me, but they triggered a better me. Like, I am more sensitive to other people's feelings. I am more understanding. I know how to love people better now because Drake and I were completely different people, but we were very strong in our own right. And he was older, so he wanted a different love. He was over the bullshit, over the not talking, but he also was toxic, very, very toxic. And I, I basically, he imparted those negative traits onto me. And I made my other ex, Kenneth, suffer for that. So I told myself, no, man, I don't want to be this person. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be this person that puts other people through the traumas that I've been put through. It's not fair. I really was trying to better myself as a person. I really was trying to be a different person. I was trying to be better emotionally, physically, mentally. And I've made some mistakes obviously because traumas are not something you unlearn in a day i mean this was five years of trauma a uh, five years of thinking that this is how i should be loved this is what i deserve and this is what i should give others and that wasn't the case i was really really hurt about the silent treatment thing because i felt like when we began this relationship we spoke about how well, I guess I told him my traumas, right? I was very vocal about those traumas because 
I didn't want to be put through that. You understand? It would have changed the whole dynamic of our relationship. It would have made me the cold naledi, irrespective of whether I forgive you or not. I'll always look at you with that eye. So he went and did something that he knew that I was not comfortable with. And I don't know, it just it just made me feel like, you know what, uh-uh. Nope, this food is hot, but it's so good. So yeah, guys, um, instead of obviously trying to see reason, I decided to leave. I had to choose my peace. I had to choose the peace that I've worked on for so long. I had to understand that if someone, if you tell someone what your traumas are not to play on them and that person deliberately does that to you, that is not a mistake. That is intentional, that is an act, and you cannot keep forgiving something that is so intentional because they will create the room to keep on doing that, which is what I did with uh, Drake, but I was young with Drake, I was 21. I couldn't have known better. I was a I was a lover generally, you know. But now that I'm older and now that I'm more aware of what people do or their toxic traits, it was really hurtful. I think it, it was a sense of I don't really want to talk about that one. But yeah, I'm single now. It's Heritage Day and I'm eating plantain and sitting alone with a can of banana. And I'm loving it. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably gonna eat the rest of my food. And then I think you and I will probably, you and I being you and uh, you guys, me and me, will probably find something to do. So, or well, I'm gonna take a nap. I don't know. I can go both ways at this point because I don't know if I'm getting drunk again. Oh. Fuck! I'm gonna talk to you guys in a few. Hi everyone and welcome back to another day of my very very confusing very very irritating blog but I thought it best to just give you guys a couple of days because I've noticed that with my one day vlog some people say they're too short but I think over the past few days all the plans that I've had for the kind of set vlogs that I wanted to do didn't really materialize so this is just a whole bunch of absolutely nothing but but you're gonna be happy when you find out what I'm gonna be doing today so hopefully after this it'll just come together as one vlog so today is sunday and i know you guys are probably thinking sunday going to church you know i'm not going i should i should but it's not it's that that's not where my excitement stems from right so i've essentially spent most of my long weekend kind of creeped up in the house just been focusing on myself i've just been having a really kind of debbie downer mood and also the fact that i was really sick um for something that i was shooting on set i just didn't feel like being around people and i was just going through the motions because you know sometimes men are gonna put you in that state of mind you know but i finally kind of spent my long weekend being with my family watching squid game on netflix you guys need to watch squid game and now today i am going to twine for day yes i'm going to twine for day okay so let me let me be honest about what actually happened so i made a tweet like i think a few weeks ago like a week or two ago when the Donna Fontaine tickets came out now we've obviously been suffering the lockdown and the lockdown kind of restricted big events such as Donna Fontaine from happening so all the people that had bought their tickets they eventually had to be refunded or they had to be kind of um what's the word paid or they had to like i don't know you know when, when when they don't refund you they credit you yes there you go so a lot of people that had bought tickets for the Donna Fontaine that was previously supposed to happen before we suffered another kind of harsh lockdown they um got credited or kind of received first um first basis when it came to buying tickets i think if i'm saying that correctly so that's not the point the point is i came onto the timeline and I said, guys, where are the tickets? And everyone's like, ah, <laughs> mm, you're so late. Oh, yeah, that's like asking where the thing is when the lecture's done. And <laughs> you know, sometimes if you Twitter people just stop being bootsy binky and just, it would be, it would help you. So then 
I made another tweet and I asked about a second batch of tickets and people are like, there's no such thing as a second batch of tickets. But what you guys didn't know is that my telepathy, my telepathy or whatever I had, the spirit that had dawned upon me knew that Tony Fontaine was going to let out a second batch of tickets because there was no way that I was going to miss another year of Tony Fontaine just because of you guys, just because of you, okay? I really don't care. I don't even go to Pretoria for a lot of things. I think the last time I went to Pretoria probably had to be like a year or two ago. But I was not gonna miss Tony Fontaine. Do you hear me? Thank you. So then I started speaking to my ancestral gods and I said to them, listen guys, I really don't want to fight. I really don't want to have to call the manager. I just need you guys to make sure that there's a ticket or there's a second batch of tickets. And it just so happened that my visions came to life with the second batch of tickets being released and then I ended up buying two tickets, right? So I didn't want to say anything on the timeline because I knew that I actually wanted to vlog the experience. So I wanted to like just keep it on the DL about the fact that I got tickets. Because I just wanted to surprise everybody there with my camera. And then people were like, Ay, please don't vlog us. We, we might be cheating. So, as you guys can see, my excitement is killing me. Because I need to get to Donna Fontaine. And I need to get there by at least 1.30. So, I'm just going to go quickly do my makeup. And I'll speak to you guys just now. I need to get there. And the problem is now that I'm running late. So I'm probably going to speak to you guys as soon as I get to the event. Because yes, I woke up late. Yes, Squid Game had me by the throat. And yeah, I'm not really a morning person. So having to wake up and do my makeup early in the morning, it just, it's a whole lot of work. So let me do my makeup. And because Pretoria is such a long drive, I'm probably going to speak to you guys or vlog when I get there. Because the whole driving vlog is just... It's gonna be too much. So I'll see you guys at Zona Fontaine. Oh shit. So I know this vlog started out of nowhere, but guys, <laughs> I literally had to lie and say that I didn't get Zona Fontaine tickets, but in actual fact, I'm all the way in Pretoria at Zona Fontaine, right? And already as it is, the vibe is vibing. Don't you wanna lie? My only question is that will they let me walk into the camera? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. 